A newly approved device allows doctors to treat brain aneurysms in a less invasive procedure. The device has already been used 3,000 times and doctors at UMass Memorial Medical Center are among the first in the area to use it. Our Erin Keating explains. Right at that junction is this wide aneurysm. You see that bulge coming out of that? Dr. Ajit Puri shows the damage a brain aneurysm caused by weakened blood vessels can do. He is one of two doctors at UMass Memorial Medical Center now using the treatment device called Kamanichi. This device regulates blood flow while doctors work to repair the damaged blood vessel. Once we have packed this enough, we can with a clicker almost close this device and this device comes out. Kamanichi was approved by the FDA in May. UMass Memorial is the first hospital in New England to use it. Peary says the device is inserted in either a patient's wrist or groin and does not involve brain surgery. Next day morning, after breakfast, they can go home, and I kid you not, a lot of time they say, can you give us some proof to show us that we had an aneurysm repaired because nobody's going to uh, believe we had a brain aneurysm surgery done. Pieri uses the device with fellow UMass Memorial doctor Francesco Mazzari. He says the symptoms of a brain aneurysm happen quickly and require immediate attention. So most of the time it's out of the blue. You have this kind of like the worst headache you ever had in your life. And, uh, and that's exactly when the aneurysm rupture and when it becomes emergent, the treatment of this kind of condition. Brain aneurysms happen every 18 minutes. So Puri says growing with technology like Kamenichi is valuable and saves lives. As technology moves forward, we have to um, get on board with these new technologies. Mazari says the device is planned to be used several times throughout the week. In studio, Aaron Keating, Worcester News Tonight.